Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Foo Peeverus. De Bruno Bros offers free lunch for police. Employees threaten a strike over the move. De Bruno's rescinds policy. Police union announces a boycott. Rest assured, Philly police will be boycotting at De Bruno Bros from here on out. Hashtag back the blue. If you stop going somewhere because they don't want to give you free food, there's a serious problem there. No matter what they are, anybody providing a service deserves to be paid, regardless. This next one is by Memes138. What's your hourly? And is that street labor or also traveling and purchasing? $9 an hour is perfectly fine. How about 15? 13 is the most I take since this is something I just really like doing. I appreciate that though. One could argue if every interaction with a potential choosing beggar ended like this, we wouldn't have these videos or the subreddit full of all these silly choosing beggars. This next one is by Pepper Bundle. Thanks for your response. Let me know if you're interested in a barter collection. In exchange of your products, I will post pictures and stories with tag and hashtag to your page and link to your store. Or why don't you pay for your wedding items yourself and then post pictures and stories to your page just like I would. If I buy something and it's fantastic, I let people know it's the right thing to do for small independent designers especially now. I've had 75 weddings postponed this year because of COVID, but it hasn't stopped influencers asking for things for free. You're number six this month alone. Having Instagram followers isn't a quick and easy ride to free stuff town. So please, especially in times like now, help others by actually buying what you need and then posting reviews. I couldn't have said it any better myself. I mean, honestly, all of these influencers are failing to realize that times are hard for a lot of people financially and they don't deserve free things because honestly, how far is their exposure going to go? This next one is by PureSalt05. Yeah, you think you can make me a logo? Sure. What would you want it to say and look like? Um, I wanted to say almighty and red and black. Okay. When you pay, will you do it with PayPal or Venmo? Hold up, hold up. You never said anything about paying. It's not free. Why not? It's just a logo. It's for my YouTube channel and I could suggest you as a good logo maker for my subs. That's the best I could do for you. Other than that, no deal. Sorry, bud. You prob have like 10 subs. I don't need a shout out. <laughs> what I don't get about these influencers is they have no problem making money, yet they created a problem for other people to make money, especially when they're going to those people and asking for things for free. If it was the other way around, I think we all know, the beggars wouldn't do a thing for free. This next one is by Hello Barrow. Oh my god, dog is so cutie. I want to pet and feel the fluffy dog. <laughs> Thank you. If you happen to visit Hungary, we can arrange that. No, can you fly the dog to Denmark? I don't go to Hungary. Hungary. Sorry, but I do not think that is possible. I can send you photos of him to make it up though. I plan to post this later today. You're the first to ever see this. Sends pick. Huh? You selfish and want to keep the dog only for you. I hope you don't have children. If I go to Hungary, I visit your fucking dog. Wow. Talk about a lunatic. What are they going to do if they go to Hungary? Take a visit, look around, try to hunt that dog specifically, like that's their vacation, hunting the dog? I mean, honestly. Talk about a loony tune. This next one is by Queen Truty. Dear Prudence, my daughter-in-law enjoys knitting and crocheting. For her birthday, my husband and I gave her a generous gift card to a local yarn store, for which she thanked us and seemed very pleased. 
Imagine my dismay, however, when six months later for our anniversary, she gifted us with a lovely bedspread, which she told me she made with the yarn purchased from the gift card. I told my son that we'd in effect paid for our own present and that he needs to communicate to his wife how improper and stingy this move was. He refuses, saying that her labor and time were also part of the gift. We haven't spoken much since except to discuss our grandchildren and our daughter-in-law has been outright cold. I'm considering writing her a letter directly explaining why this was an improper gift and expressing my sadness that her own parents didn't teach her gift etiquette. My husband wants me to drop the whole thing and pretend like it never happened. Prudy, I don't like the idea of moving on as if nothing happened. Yeah, we can kind of tell that from you taking the time to write something like this out. But, you know, you're not supposed to give gifts and expect things in return. And when you give a gift, especially if it's a gift card, just because they bought yarn to make your bedspread, they did invest time, effort, and it's the thought that counts. Unfortunately, your parents didn't teach you to have just regular life etiquette. This next one is by Casmo Crema. Hey man! I bought a guitar off you last year. Do you remember? Beggar, right? Yeah, I do. Summit's wrong with the neck. The strings are harder to press down. Sorry to hear that, man. Maybe take it to an instrument repair shop or a rock shop and let them have a look? Bro, listen. You either get it repaired or take it back. What? It's been eight months, man. I sold it for $30. You don't expect me to repair it. Bro, you for real? I want my money back or you fucking repair it yourself. I'll come drop it off. I still have your address. <laughs> Cheers. Alright, feel free to drop it. You ain't getting shit back. And I'm sure as hell not repairing shit for you. Have my address? Is that a threat? Suck my balls, you maniac. See you tomorrow, funny boy. Yeah, you may think you'll see them tomorrow, but they won't be seeing you. You paid $30, man. Either take it to a repair shop or look to invest money in a new guitar. Point blank. This next one is by Negative Reply 3211 Is there anything else you could throw in to make it worth my time? What do you mean? It's a free sofa. Yeah, but it's like a 20 mile drive. If it's too far, don't pick it up. I really can't do anything. The reason I'm giving it away is because I don't have a way of getting rid of it. The customer is always right. You're a terrible businessman. If you can't pick it up, stop wasting my time. How are they a terrible businessman when they're trying to give something away for free and most of the time there's always that little fine detail of you need to come pick it up yourself. Come on beggars, can you guys think? No, I forgot, you can't. And our final post today is by Featherpike. What's up, ladies? It's the boys from 134. We've been thinking about inviting you over to chill. However, we have not gotten good looks at your faces. If you guys are both over sevens, feel free to come down sometime. P.S. If you guys both aren't sevens, don't waste our time because we will be dicks. Well, isn't that a nice way to, uh, I don't know, make new friends by basing everything off of physical looks? Hey boys down in room 134, you're probably going to be alone for a while because there's no meaning behind what you're wanting. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.